Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and Atria. in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how, an ISO of how you can easily remove distractions and how to also remove folds and wrinkles from your studio backdrops in Photoshop and make those backgrounds or backdrops really nice and seamless. So without further ado, let's get started and before we can even proceed, I request that you do like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there and also don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and not subscribed so that you don't lose out or you don't miss out on tutorials that i keep on dropping frequently on this very channel so hoping you're done hitting the like button and also subscribing rather so right now i'm just going to come to this very image and you can see that we have a couple of distractions in this very image so you can see that we have these lights in the way and also this beauty dish so what i'm going to do basically i want first of all clean up these distractions. So I'm just going to create a copy from the background and simply press Ctrl or Command J on the keyboard so I, I can do the cleaning up on a separate layer. So after doing this, I'm just going to come to my crop tool and simply crop the ratio or crop the image in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10. So after I've done this, I'm just going to click and move around the image until when I feel like uh, the part of the image I want is the one occupying the image. Or the crop ratio right here and I'm just going to simply hit enter on the keyboard and that is going to crop the image in a ratio of 45 so after doing this the very first thing you have to take into consideration is first of all getting rid or even eliminating these distractions so there is an ISO of how you can eliminate these distractions from the image so I'm just going to come right click on the spotting brush tool and just come and get the patch tool so with the patch tool selected i'm just going to simply make sure it is in new selection mode right here so just going to come and i'm just going to draw around the soft box like this so you left click and draw around the soft box and simply drag it to a clean area and that is going to automatically replace that area with a clean area so i'm just going to be doing this a couple of times because Sometimes it may not get the job perfectly done. So I'm just going to move to a cleaner area. So that I replace that area with uh, the clean area of the softbox. So I'm just going to continue doing this so that I can eliminate the softbox. So this area is okay to replace that softbox. So with these remaining areas, I'm just going to drag and place so just like that so that they can get eliminated from the photo in this case so i'll also eliminate this remaining part of this soft box and you can see that we are now done eliminating that soft box so you're going to be doing the same for this other beauty dish and drag it to a clean area of the backdrop and eliminate this black area too so this looks okay to me so I'll come and also eliminate this reflector handle and drag it to a clean area. And that is also going to get the job done. So after I have eliminated these distractions from the image, I'll just come and look at the overall image. So in order to look or to identify the different dirt or spots within the backdrop, just come and simply create a curve that just been clear right here. So... I've said curves. So just come and create a curves adjustment layer. And with this, just come and play around different points and make just different points of the curves adjustment here. So you can drag and make various points so that you can still identify those data areas within your backdrop. So this looks okay. So I'm just going to take this a little bit higher. So you can see right now you can see the areas that have those dirty spots within the image. So you can see that these areas were not easily identified using bare eyes. So you can see that when you turn this on, it shows us those dirty areas. So basically what you're going to do for this case, you're just going to come and simply with the curves adjustment layer selected, just come to the layer below the curves adjustment layer or the layer where we are cleaning the backdrop and simply with the patch tool simply drag those areas to a clean area and eliminate those 
that is spots within your portrait so i'm just going to do this and eliminate those areas so remember we are we are not yet done with the tutorial so i'm just going to drag this to a given area or a different area and try and eliminate so many so i'm just going to come to the floor right here and i'm also going to eliminate these that is spots in those areas so don't mind if at all you accidentally leave out some because i'm going to be showing you a technique that is going to fine tune the areas or the image itself so you can see that we are done cleaning up you can see that this line was not seen when we are using bare eyes so you can see that when we turn the curves layer on right now the image looks better and a little bit cleaner so after doing this you can come back to the new layer right here and simply come and get your mixer brush tool so just come right click and get the mixer brush tool so if at all you are having an older version of photoshop you may be able to find your mixer brush tool down here so with that i'm going to be using the hardness of zero and make sure clean brush is selected and make sure clean the brush after each and every stroke has also been selected right here then also the weight of nine the load of 75 the mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent make sure sample all is also not checked and with this we are now going to come and simply start mixing so with the mixer brush tool we're just going to be mixing the colors so whatever you're seeing a wrinkle or fold in the image you're just going to simply be mixing that area so if at all a wrinkle or fold is moving from an up down kind of direction what you have to do is simply moving the mixer brush tool in an opposite direction so for example if at all the fold is moving from up to down that is a vertical movement make sure that when using the mixer brush tool and that fold in order to eliminate it just move your mixer brush tool in a horizontal direction and that is going to remove that wrinkle in the process so that is what you have to do as you're trying to make the backdrop seamless so i'm just going to be doing this on this lower area so that you can see everything as we are working on the image in real time so i'm just going to be showing you all el el elaborating and demonstrating for you down here so now you can see that we have some that areas or patches down on the floor so meaning i have to move my mixer brush tool in an up down kind of movement since these wrinkles down here are moving in a horizontal format so i have to move my mixer, my mixer brush tool in this kind of direction and you can see it is now going to eliminate those data spots or data areas within the lower part of the floor or of the backdrop and you can see it really does a pretty nice job trying to eliminate these data spots or that area so you can come and also work on these other areas so you can see that this really does a very nice and perfect job at the end of uh, the day and you have a very nice and clean or seamless backdrop at the end of the process so just come and you have to keep away from the edges of the image because you don't want to split spill or spill color from your image so just come you can see that we have just smoothened this area that was below and you can see before and after and now the backdrop looks a little bit more better and seamless at the end of the process so just come and look for every area that has those folds and wrinkles and with the brush tool or the mixer brush tool you can just come and paint them out and that is going to basically eliminate those wrinkles and folds from the image so you can come and also clean up this white box so with the curves layer you can just come and turn it on and look for an area that you haven't worked on in your backdrop and clean it up so you can see right now the backdrop looks a little bit better than it was at the start of the process or at the start of the tutorial so basically this is how to clean up or remove those folds and wrinkles from the studio backdrop you can see right now you can see every data area and simply come and clean up that data area and right now the backdrop looks seamless nice and clean 
So after you're done using this, you can just come and delete it so that you can have a very nicely cleaned, retouched image or a nice and seamless backdrop. So this is how to clean up and remove distractions from your studio backdrop. And if at all you have learned something from this tutorial, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you are watching and you are not subscribed yet to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing shows. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.